Hi Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at adding previous and next post navigation links in WordPress. And all these uh, will be added to the single post pages only. So if we just take an example here, we're looking at the 2012 default theme for WordPress. It already includes these links by default, so you don't really need to add them. Uh, but you can style them and uh, customize them and make some changes. So here, here we can see the links here. They're at the end of every post and they're before the comment box so uh, they're included by default in some themes in, th in some themes they're not included in the Genesis theme framework they're not included and most of the studio press themes which are built on the Genesis theme framework they're not included so there's different ways you can add the links in and that'll link all your posts together to make sure they're indexed in the search results uh, I've written a post on it recently and I've linked to two plugins which you can install and if you're using Genesis here's one here the Genesis single post navigation plugin it's a free plugin um, it'll add the links up the top here it has arrows up here and up here so they're always above the fold so this is a quite a good strategy to get more page views as well uh, and there's another very very popular plugin WP page navy so that'll do the same thing and that'll add uh, post navigation links on posts and, and on pages as well so I've written a separate post on that uh, but this post that I've written is basically uh, focused more on, on on adding the code and uh, and I've got several different code examples and it's just a small snippet of code there's not a lot of code to it it's pretty straightforward there's only two different parameters that you really want to change um, and you don't need to change them if you don't want and the first one's the text parameter here so you can simply customize where it says previous post and next post you might just have previous and next you can change the color the the size you can do whatever you like to that parameter so that's the text parameter and the next one here is for the link and you either turn this on or off and uh, in this case I've got it turned on so if it's if it's yes um, basically what will happen is it'll link as well as adding the text next post and previous post it'll also add a link to the post title the next and previous uh, post title and I'll link those post titles to the next and previous posts so uh, which 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 is what it's done in the example here you can see here it's got the uh, the post title and it's linked to them as well it hasn't include next and previous posts here so it's really only just using that third parameter so which is uh, which is here in this example it's got it switched off so all you'll see at the end of the post if you use this code is previous and next and it'll be linked to the previous and next post it won't have the post title so you can use any of these code snippets I've got, I've got three or four examples and I've also shown you exactly where you should put it and in most cases um, you should put it in your single .php file um, it's probably not the best way to do it in some ways because when you update the theme you'll lose that customization that you've added so you really should hook it in using an action hook and and creating the custom function however that is uh, theme specific because different themes have different hooks so um, using the single PHP methods obviously the easiest and uh, and you can use different snippets of code which I've included on the site here let's just take one example here and uh, we'll just take this one here and we'll look at the we'll use the 2012 default theme for WordPress even though it already includes these links we'll just use this as a as an example and here they are here so we'll open the single PHP uh, file for the 2012 default theme for WordPress and we'll add some of these links in as well um, so let's just go to the file and here it is here single.php we'll open this with notepad++ which is a text editor and here's the loop here so this is the uh, this is the end of the loop so you need to place it in before that now you can see the uh, the function for the comments there so if we placed it in here it's going to end up below the comment box down here so you'll have next post previous post here it's not really what you want you want it immediately after the content like it has here um, so we should put it in up here 
and you can see it's already included by default right there so you could actually customize this if you wanted to um, but let's let's just place it in here and we'll just we'll just see how that goes so there it is there let's let's change this to no so we won't display the post title because it's already displayed by default in the uh, in the default functions there so we'll just change that and we'll just have a look and see what this does just so you can get an idea of what's possible uh, let's go to the right theme there and here it is here so you can see it's just added it right there so you could uh, if you didn't want these big post titles here you could just have a previous and next and I've, I've put in a couple of little arrows you can change them to whatever you like you could uh, you can change the positioning of this you could put it in the center which is quite easy so that's just an example of how you customize your next and previous post uh, links for single posts only it's pretty easy really as you can see from the single PHP file it, it's, it's determined on where you place the code so if you wanted them below the comments box you put the code below the comments here but just before where it says end of the loop if you wanted it higher up and you could have it higher up you could have it right up the top here if you wanted to you could have the uh, you know you could have uh, next and, and previous post links up here so uh, that that's all there is folks it's it, it's pretty straightforward you really just got to play around with it a bit you have to customize this code first and there's quite a few different examples or just take the easy way out and use a plugin so uh, you might prefer to do that so uh, that's all for today folks thanks for watching and see you next time cheers